Hello everyone, welcome back. So we're continuing to go through Excel now. This time we're going to be talking about selecting cells. Now it's not very hard. Um, when you select cells, you're going to see a gray box. If you select only one cell, you'll see a little highlight around that cell. This gray box is currently what, I, um, what I've selected. The way it works is I click in one cell and I keep the mouse button down and I drag to another cell and it will select everything. And you see it's always a rectangle. I can't do some strange oblong shape. Now, what we're gonna do is hopefully you're gonna try it out. You're gonna select all of these and you can hit delete to do that. Um, and you know, that worked, that was fine. However, let's just think a little bit differently. This time, there's some that I wanna keep. Now I can, just like before, use my mouse key, but let's also try using those arrow keys. So if I'm using arrow keys, I hit shift and I hold it down, and then I can select everything by moving the arrow keys around. Once again, you see that I'm moving and I'm making a rectangular box. Now if I let go of shift and I hit over, you see it instantly moves. So I have to hold that shift key down in order to keep these guys selected. If I let go, it's still fine. If I hold it down again, I can continue to move around. It's just and before I start moving, I have to hit shift again if I want to hold it down. Keep that same selection. So I delete both of these. I'll just do this one normally. Hit delete and it says good. So we did it right. Woo! Now Excel is about doing things fast. To be able to do things faster than this. So we're going to learn about something different. Like I said that, you know, this can only make oblong shapes like rectangle. You can't do anything kind of crazy like a U unless you hold down the control key. Control says, I want to keep what I selected now, before, but now I want a new selection I'm going to add to that. So every time I let go, I can make a new rectangle. So I can make an arbitrary shaped section and even get the guys in between if I want to. As long as I hold down the control key. So right here, we're going to do it in one single step. So I go right here, I use my arrow keys, I'm not going to use my mouse at all. At least at first. Go down to here, and I've got that one selected. I hit Control. I can't move up or down, that messes things up. So you have to let go of your arrow keys now. But go back to here. I hit Control, and then I click here. And then I can hit Shift again. And look at that, I've got all of them selected at one time. I hit Delete, get the little good. Okay, and then we can get a little bit crazier. When you have something that's this crazy, it might be better just to use your mouse, um, but you can still do this with the arrow keys for the, at least some parts. So you can see I can do all of these at once. As long as I hold down the control key, I can do an arbitrary shape. Shift, I have to keep going in a rectangle. So I've got all of them now. I hit delete, good. And sorry about the try again. I'm working on the logic to make it so that it doesn't show this until after you've actually attempted. Okay, and the final thing for fun is to mow this person long. Yeah, making you do chores. Um, it's not actually hard. It's a huge section though. And so scrolling with our mouse, moving with our mouse isn't gonna be very fast in this case. If you wanna select all these at once, we gotta remember that shortcut. Remember we had that shortcut where we hit control and a direction, I jumped to the edge. Well, guess what? If I held control, and shift, I can select everything. It'll jump for me. And since I'm holding down shift, I'll select all of that. And I can hit delete and it says, good, I've done a good job. So well done, you did it. Okay. So with that, we've got a good idea of how to select cells, okay? How we select them. Um, and now let's go ahead and move on and learn how we can move cells. Now, I know this is super basic stuff. Maybe you're really good at Excel. You can skip all these if you want to. Um, but these are helpful if you've never used Excel before. Okay, so moving cells. There's various ways you can do it. The first is you can just select them. So if I type one here and two here, um, I can select them and I can do cut and paste. So cut is control X. Notice you'll see this little border change. It begins with a little answer marching around it. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see just a little bit more. Okay, so you see the little ants marching around. If I click somewhere else, I hit Control V, that's the shortcut for paste, and look, now they're there. I've moved them. So that works very well. 
Um, and it's going to ask you to do that. I've got this little puzzle here, and if I put all the pieces in, I can move them over here. I'm kind of zoomed in now so you can't see everything at once. Um, but you can move those using cut and paste. But there's other ways to move things. Um, we can also just click the edge of the cell we've selected. Now, this cursor right here is to select a cell. This cursor right here is to move. So you see, normally you'll see this cursor. However, if I get really close to that edge, so my cursor changes. That can be the top edge, the left edge, the right edge, the corners, the bottom, but not this one right here. That will do something completely different, which we'll get to next time. Um, and so if I grab this edge, I can move it around to wherever I want to. Um, and so just so you can see this, I can do one, I can do two here. I select them all and I can move them around. Now they're over there. Pretty easy. Um, and to practice this, you can help save some birds by moving them down into the safe zone. My advice is to select just their body because that will make things easier on how I program this. So yeah, see how that moved it around. Okay. So I'm going to undo that so I have everything ready for you. And with that, we've learned how to select some cells. Hopefully this helped you. Oh my goodness, what did I do right here? I actually moved these. Whoops. Okay, put it over here. Boom. Um, hopefully this helped you. Hopefully you got a better idea of how you can select things. And take um, note of the cursor. It's this little thing right here. Usually a pointer and Excel is a little cross. When it changes, things have changed. So we learned that this one right here means move. This one right here means select. Use that to your advantage. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.